Hello, uh, my name's Elaine Chu, and I'm very pleased to be here today to introduce a new term today, music theranostics. And music theranostics uh, has a part that has to do with digital therapeutics and another part that has to do with precision diagnostics. So I'm going to uh, show that music can be a tool uh, to assist in two, these two aspects um, of healthcare. And I lead two, I've led, pro, uh, I lead two projects uh, funded by the European Research Council, Cosmos and Heart FM. So last year, well, we did a study uh, with um, Dennis Noble, who is um, a physiologist uh, known for having come up with the first viable mathematical model of the heart. And these are the signals we collected from Dennis Noble, who is known for having uh, this talk online, which you can find about the music of life. And he always starts this with the Schubert Trio, uh, which you can hear now. And this is Dennis's breathing during this live performance of the piano trio. And if you breathe along with him, you'll see he breathes actually very musically. In and out. And he holds his breath. Breathe in. So music modulates our autonomics, the breathing, the heart rate, the blood pressure, and this is how music does it. And uh, we have a built software, uh, which is freely available, that uh, to allow you to see music information in different layers and the physiological concurrent information of the player as well as the listener uh, during the music. And because we can do it for music, which is at 44.1 kilohertz, we can do it for physiological signals, which is at a much lower frame rate. And so uh, the next version of, uh, after Cosmonote, we built Physmonote, which allows you to see all the databases of Physionet, uh, which is uh, uh, databases of complex physiological signals. And um, rather than focus on all the statistical models that we've been using, I'm going to focus on the motivation behind what music can do for us and all the modulations in music, all the variations that occur in music that can be used in modulating our autonomics. So this is a piece of music by Pierre Boulez, who will be turning 100 next year if he were alive, but uh, we're celebrating his 100th birthday next year. And this is a piece that's supposed to go fearsomely fast uh, at this beat. This is the sped up version of the original. And this is after hearing the sped up version, I knew how it went, so I could play it faster. Uh, because that's the 30-second piece. This 30-second piece without creating any new material can be played with cello. Or with voice. So by modulating the prosody of music, we can create very extremely different effects. And uh, so we are studying uh, these effects of music on the cardiovascular system. And in the coming months, we're going to have several publications coming out about uh, stratifying uh, patients based on their response uh, to music factors. 
as well as using music and being able to predict people's physiological responses to different structures in music. And do come to my demo at 4.30 in the recital room where I will show some of uh, the software that you saw. Thank you. Thank you.